So this is Mark Phillips in black. And one thing to notice immediately is he's got head movement. You normally don't associate head movement with Wing Chun people, but he's got head movement. It's not the best head movement, but it's better than most Wing Chun people. And so this is a competition that happened in 1989. These are some of the other contestants. As you can see, this guy, this dude in black also has head movement. So it's not unique to Mark. So what's interesting, I want to show this because I just don't know why head movement got lost in Wing Chun. You would think if you're going to be so square, you got to move your head off center line, right? And that's what I hope to show here. Here's some other contestants, other people's interpretations of Wing Chun. That guy just got jabbed in the face. Very linear here. And then this one, a big reach and weight class difference between some of them. So must have been open weight class. And this one's funny. That guy eats punches right through his guard. And then this one's pretty funny too. Got the leg caught, but the guy doesn't know what to do after catching the guy's leg. And that one's pretty cool, just a hook kick. So next up, we're going to see Mark. This is Mark. Again, his chin's a little high, which he acknowledges. I'll show you his commentary later. But again, I love that his head's off center line. This is kind of how he would fight now, incorporating much more grappling. For those of you unaware, this is Mark Phillips, aka Fight Science. And he's one of the oldest and most popular YouTube channels on martial arts. So definitely go give him a follow. And now let's hear from his own analysis many years later. If you notice when I'm striking my chin's up, it's held high, easily open for a counter hook. Having said all of that, there are some micro skills that were quite impressive for the time of training, namely the dirty boxing. If you notice how I control the head by climbing, but the main thing is I'm pulling on the top of the head, not the neck. If you look closely, you can see how that off balances my opponent. It makes it a lot easier for me to drag him literally down to the ground. Note the cheeky elbow, the move into mount, the step off of mount, and moving around into side control. Interesting that I managed to control, but one of the things that I should have put in at that point was a knee on belly. At least with a knee on belly, which wasn't known to me at the time, I could have controlled the guy and actually got more strikes in. So Mark Phillips, his analysis is very similar to what Jin Young probably would say. If you remember Jin Young, Jin now is a brown belt in jiu-jitsu and Wing Chun helps his hand fighting on the ground. I don't see Mark talk a lot about this, but I'm actually curious if Mark's able to use some Wing Chun trapping and hand fighting in jiu-jitsu on the ground. But let's look at some more of Mark's matches during this 1989 tournament. Mark here, young Mark, and here they go. Notice their hands are on each other. So, low kicks, right? Mark's chin is a lot lower this time. He learned from some of his previous matches. This is one of the later matches. Here's some more clips from that. Look at that knee. Look at the clinch. You would think clinches come pretty natural in Wing Chun because of the range, right? Here's Mark talking about that. Mark's also wondering why more Wing Chun guys aren't as good at clinching as Muay Thai guys when there's so much emphasis on that trapping range. So that was called a pakta, a paida. So that was a effective use of pakta, which you kind of see boxers use too. Also, you see the head off center line again. Boxers use something similar. So pakta, aka hitting that hand down and hitting back is not something unique to Wing Chun. I just want to make sure so I don't get people saying, oh my God, that's just boxing. Mark's mostly a jiu-jitsu coach now. So I was actually very surprised to see this on his channel. It doesn't have too many views. I hope if you guys like this type of analysis, I hope this inspires Mark to put up more old footage of his Wing Chun matches. I think we learn a lot, whether as traditional martial artists, modern martial artists, self-defense people, etc. So Mark, AK Fight Science, I would love to see more. Even if you don't want to analyze it, send it to me. I would learn a lot from it. So guys, tell Mark if he has more footage and he doesn't want to upload it to his channel, send it to me. I'll commentate it. All right, guys, fight out with Jerry Breakdowns. Bye-bye.